Hello everyone, my name is Julia and I am Head of Customer Support here at Woodpecker. Today I would like to introduce you our refresh campaigns which are called IF campaigns. Let's see what new features you have to create your campaign in Woodpecker. So let's add a campaign. To start with, our IF campaigns were created to increase engagement of your prospects and set up even more personalized campaigns. They will give you more freedom to create separate email sequences based on the chosen conditions. So let's name our campaign and let's choose an email from send from option. As you can see, our campaign has a new layout and consists of three parts, path, prospects and send. Path. Here you can create a sequence of emails for your campaign. Prospects. Here you can import and add your recipients to the campaign. In the send field, you can preview, send or save the campaign. So let's start the path by creating an opening email. We can add the subject line and add some copy. Now we can adjust the delivery time window, which has some new options. Right now you can add up to three sending intervals if you wish to send emails during different hours. So firstly, let's choose the days when we would like to send an emails. In my case, it will be Monday and Tuesday. And I can add the first sending interval on Monday, which will be from 7 a.m., let's say till 9 a.m. Then I can add new sending window and my next sending window will be from 10 a.m. till 12 p.m. And I can add the third and the last sending interval, which let's say will be from 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. Moreover, uh, you can use option apply to all to copy all settings automatically instead of changing them manually. So when I will click on a button apply to all, all sending intervals from Monday will be automatically copied to Tuesday. Next we can select the time zone or we can use prospect time zone if available. By selecting this option, you let Woodpecker send your emails according to your prospect time zones. In this case, it means that you have already selected the right time zone for your prospect, which is based on a country. You can do that manually or using our automatic detection from the prospect tab view. You can learn more about this feature and how it works in our help section. So our first email is ready. Now we can add a condition or skip it and move to a typical follow-up. However, today I would like to show you how our condition works. So let's click on the condition icon. And firstly, we will see a clock icon. By default, Woodpecker will send follow-up no sooner than three days after the previous email, unless a prospect replies. However, you can change the number of the days manually let's say it will be four days and you can choose uh, between hours and days. Uh, I will leave days in my case. So now we can move to a condition. As a condition, we understand a requirement which has to be met so the next action can be taken. In other words, you can decide what next message your prospects receive depending on two options. The first one is if a prospect has opened an email more than X times. By default, here you will have five times. You can decide how many times you want your prospect to open your email. X stands for the number and of course it can be changed manually. So here I can put, for example, seven times. The second option is if prospect has opened an email and it's enough that your prospect opens an email at least once. So now we can uh, create a condition and I would like to choose the first option if a prospect has opened an email more than let's say three times. So uh, we can create right now the yes pass and we can add some follow-ups. 
So we can move and I can add one more email and uh, I can add my second follow-up. So if this condition does not fulfill, then the no pass begins. So I can move to my no pass and I can create email sequence in this pass. So let's say my no pass will consist of only one follow up. At the end of each path, you will be able to see a local status, which is called non responsive. Those prospects who never get back to you will be marked with this status so you know that you can contact them again in the future. In case your prospect responds or unsubscribes or the message gets bounced, Woodpecker will update the status. Important thing, right now within one email sequence you can add only one condition which will split your campaign into the yes and no path. So our campaign is ready and we can move to a prospect tab where we will be able to add prospects. We can add them by importing a CSV file manually or from database. I will choose my prospect from existing database. Now we can move to the send part and in the send part we can check the campaign history so we can see how many emails we have in the each pass. For example, in the past yes, we have three emails totally, one opening email and we've added two follow-ups. However, in the past no, we have only two emails as we have only one opening email and one follow-up. Also, we will be able to see how many prospects we've added to the campaign and we will be able to preview it to see uh, how our email sequence look like in the past. Yes, here I have uh, opening email and two follow-ups and also I can see how my email sequence looks like uh, in the no pass. Okay, so now we can start this campaign and I also would like to show you how our statistics view is look like on an existing campaign. So let's have a quick view on our stats. As you can see, statistics are being divided into two different paths. The yes pass is being marked with a green color and the no pass is marked with a blue color. We can click on each pass to see the details for the emails in each sequence. So here we can see that in the past, yes, we've sent uh, 17 emails and there were opening emails. No follow-ups were sent in this path. However, in the no pass, in total, we've sent 32 emails. We've sent 17 opening emails and we have 15 follow-ups that were sent in this campaign. Uh, based on the stats, I can assume that my yes pass and my yes condition were not fulfilled. Uh, so that is why uh, follow-ups from my no pass were, were sent uh, to my prospects. Thank you for watching this video. In case of any questions connected with our new campaigns, do not hesitate to contact us via email support at woodpeckerco. Have a nice day!